Well, hello and welcome to The Zone. I'm your host, Big Wave Dave. So this is the second video in our amazing design series. Today, we're going to talk about bugs. So have you ever wondered, where did bugs come from? Well, the Bible tells us that God created everything in just six days. Now, on day five of Creation Week, God created the sea and the flying creatures. So that means that any bug that flies was created on day five. Now, on day six, God created all the land animals and creatures that move along the ground. So that would include these guys. So that's what the Bible says. But is there any evidence that God designed and created bugs? There is. Check this out. We share our planet with billions of tiny creatures. Each of them has their own God-given abilities. Some of them can fly. Some swim, while others crawl upon the ground. Some can leap incredible distances. Some work together as a team, while others prefer to work alone. Many of them inspire us with their beauty and astonishing transformations. Some of them can be annoying, and some scary. Now, although some people believe that they somehow created themselves, when you stop and take a closer look at these tiny creatures, you will discover that they all have purpose and one thing in common. They all show amazing design. Bugs are so cool. Today we're going to take a closer look at two of them, fireflies and the praying mantis. But before that, I have a question for you. This is my latest toy, a remote-controlled praying mantis. And you can see that I'm having a lot of fun with it. I don't think my dog thinks much of it. But here's my question. Do you think that my toy made itself? Well, of course not. That's silly. Because we know that when we see something really complicated, that somebody really smart made that. Now, please keep that in mind as we talk about bugs. Let's talk about the amazing firefly. So when I was a kid, my sisters and I used to run around all over the place and try to catch these guys. They are so cool. Okay, so they're cool, but what makes them amazing? Glad you asked. Let's start with this. First of all, they can fly. Now we're going to talk a lot more about flying during our third video. But for now, consider this. Fireflies have four wings. And they all have to work together for these creatures to fly. And that's really complicated. There's no way that this guy made himself. Another cool thing about fireflies is their life cycle. They undergo some really amazing changes during their lives. Let's take a closer look. So they start out as eggs. And after about two to three weeks, they hatch. And out come these little creatures called larvae. Now, what are these? Well, they're baby fireflies. Now, they don't have their wings yet or their lights, and they'll crawl around for about one to two years, and they're going to eat snails and slugs and mosquitoes during that time. And then one day, they're ready for the next stage, which is called a pupa. Now, what is that? Well, it's when they crawl into like a cocoon, and after several weeks, out emerges a fully adult firefly complete with wings and the lights. And then Firefly lays eggs and the cycle starts all over again. That is amazing. Another really amazing thing about fireflies is how they produce their light. Now in our homes, we use light bulbs to create light. And when they're on, they can get really hot. So please make sure you don't ever touch one because you'll, you'll burn your hand. Now these are not very efficient. And if fireflies try to use this type of light to produce light, well, they would burn up. Fireflies actually use chemicals that are mixed together to produce light. And get this, it doesn't create any heat. Now we said, wow, that's a cool idea. And we copied it to make glow sticks. Now fireflies just, they don't light up just for fun or, or to make us happy. They're actually talking to one another. They use those lights to try to find a mate so that they can lay eggs and the life cycle will start all over again. So if you see something really complicated, 
like the Firefly. What do you know? Somebody really smart made it. Firefly show, amazing design. Okay, let's talk about praying mantises, one of my favorites. Well, first of all, where did they get their name? What well, has to do with the way that they hold their legs when they're resting? Kind of folded it. It kind of looks like this guy might be praying. Anyway, that's how they got their names. Did you know that some of them have wings? Now, when I was a boy and I tried to catch them, this is what happened. I'd come up behind and <laughs> there he goes. I didn't know that they could fly. Prey mantises are also masters of camouflage. They are really good at hide and seek. There's one in this picture. Can you find him? There he is. What about this one? Do you see him? He's right there in front of the flower. One more. Do you see him? This one looks just like a flower. This ability helps them hunt. And it's just a, an amazing design feature that they have. And did you know that praying mantises have five eyes? Now, I only thought that they had two because that's what you see in pictures. They actually have five of them and they all work together to help the praying mantis live and hunt. Wow, that is complicated. Now they have five eyes, but they only have one ear and guess where it's located? In their bellies. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Now this ear can detect high frequency noises. Now, why is that important? Because it helps them get away from their biggest predator, bats. Yikes! Another thing about praying mantises is they are solitary creatures. That's a big word. What does it mean? It means that they like to be alone. Now, every now and then, they will meet up with another praying mantis, and that's when the trouble starts. Check this out. So, in this corner, we have... Mandy! In this corner we have Striker! Let the match begin! <laughs> Guys, knock it off! This is a kids program! Praying mantises are awesome hunters. Let's take a look at some of their features. First of all, praying mantises can turn their head fully from side to side. Now, as far as I know, they're the only insect that can do that. Most of them have to turn their entire bodies when they want to look in a different direction. And those five eyes that he has give him great eyesight so he can find his prey. Now, praying mantises also have strong jaws called mandibles that help them eat those tough insects that they're catching. Now, the way that they hunt and catch other insects is they have these sharp barbs on their forearms. And so they will reach out and grab and pin the insect. And they do this really fast. Now, as I mentioned, some of them also have wings, which help them get away from predators like bats. Here is a praying mantis in action. Now, I don't know about you, but I am really glad that these guys are small. Because if they were big, they would give us a lot of trouble. So if you see something really complicated like the praying mantis, what do you know? Somebody really smart made them. Praying mantises show amazing design. Now the Bible tells us that when we look around at the creatures around us and take a close look and see how complicated they are, we should know that they were made by God. So the next time you're out and about, take a look around and just thank God for his beautiful creation. Well, I'm Big Wave Dave. And that's all the time we have together. God bless you. Take care and have a good day.